Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make sweet chili paneer. It's a super simple, easy, delicious recipe that I'm sure everyone will enjoy. So with that, let's get started. To make sweet chili paneer, I'm gonna be dividing the ingredients into two sections, so. ingredients for the sauce and also ingredients for the butter. For the paneer butter, we're gonna be needing a quarter cup of plain flour, quarter teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to add around three to four tablespoons of water to this flour mixture until it is thick but runny as well. Then for the stir fry, you will need around two tablespoons of chopped garlic and then one teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste which is optional half of a green bell pepper half of a red bell pepper one red onion and one spring onion and around three chilies depending on how spicy you want it to make the sauce you will need around two tablespoons of corn flour one tablespoon of soy sauce two tablespoons of honey two tablespoons of tomato ketchup and around two tablespoons of water if you're using tomato paste and not tomato ketchup then you need to add around one tablespoon of vinegar as well and of course you will need your paneer and i'm going to be using around 250 grams of this vegetarian paneer so first of all to get started i'm going to cut my paneer into cubes and then coat them in the butter and then toast them in the frying pan and you can also add a little bit of sesame seed for garnish at the end. So for the butter, I'm going to add my water to the flour, salt and pepper. I'm going to give everything a mix and also if you want to give it a whisk, you can do that as well. And I'm going to make sure that butter isn't too thick and it's not too thin either. I'm then going to cut my paneer into small cubes and then dip each one in and then just uh, pour it in a lightly oiled frying pan and toast them until they're golden brown. My son wanted to taste a little bit so you can see his little hand there. Um, it's up to you how how you want to cut your paneer. You can cut them into rectangles or cubes, it's up to you. I'm just cutting them a little bit small as my children are going to be eating it but you can keep them a little large if you want to as well. So my son decided to come back and help me mix everything up. So once everything is coated properly, I'm going to now just um, put my paneer pieces into a lightly oiled frying pan and I'm just going to fry them until they're nicely golden brown. I'm going to do them in a small batches and if you've got a large frying pan, you can just do it all together because you will need space to turn each one around. Once they've got a little bit of color on them like this, then you can continue making them a little bit more golden, but just make sure you don't burn them because you don't want to have burnt cheese. And after that, you can um, remove them from the frying pan and place them on a paper towel to let them drain. So my paneer has become golden brown and I've removed them from the frying pan. And in the same pan, I've added in around a tablespoon of oil and I've added in my chopped garlic as well. I'm going to now just leave this on a medium to low flame and let that become a golden brown color as well. And while that is frying in another bowl, I'm just going to mix my corn flour, water, soy sauce and honey together. And I'm just gonna make sure everything is uh, mixed in well properly. Um, I'm going to also add in my tomato ketchup. Remember if you're using a uh, tomato paste then you can add in your vinegar at this point as well. Mix everything properly and then just leave aside. At this point the garlic should be a lightly golden brown colour. It shouldn't be too dark and it should look like this. I'm now adding in my ginger and garlic paste and my green chilies, and I'm just going to fry that for a minute. Then add in your chopped onions and your bell peppers or capsicums and let that stir fry for another minute. You don't need to worry about it cooking thoroughly as we're still cooking everything and by the time everything is finished it will be cooked. So now I've just moved everything to a side and in that space I'm going to add in the sauce mixture and I'm also going to add in around a um, quarter cup of water to make sure it doesn't become thick and gloopy. Mixing everything together to make sure there are no lumps in the sauce and if you think it's become too thick then you can just add in another quarter cup of water and if it's become too thin then you can just let it cook on high heat until it becomes the right consistency 
at this point you can adjust any of the seasoning or the sauces and if you think the green chilies are not chilly enough then you can add in around quarter teaspoon of red chili powder or a tablespoon or half a tablespoon of your favorite chili sauce and once everything is thoroughly mixed properly again um, you can add in your paneer pieces and um, let everything soak in for around um, five minutes before serving you can also top with some sesame seeds and you can toast them or you can just add them in plain on top if you do make this recipe then let me know how it turns out in the comments below or what you did differently or if you added anything or if you left something out and how it turned out don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also follow me on um, instagram at Fisa's kitchen and while you're there why not have a browse through a few of my other videos and pictures as well and i hope to see you all next time